Each year, nearly 600,000 people in the United States get a new knee. It can be a painful and long recovery, but now one local doctor is the first in the area to use the latest technology to make the surgery and recovery faster. Medical reporter Meg Ferris has our exclusive report. Deborah Robichaux was only in her early 50s when she started falling. It's scary. Scary. I, I really didn't know why I was falling because a lot of times my knees just would go. And um, a couple of times I almost hit my head. The diagnosis? Osteoarthritis. Bone grinding on bone. Deborah could hear her knees when she moved. She was in constant severe pain. Injections helped for a while, but then it got so bad she couldn't even sleep at night. Then, four years ago, she needed a cane to walk. What did that feel like at 54 walking with a cane? I felt helpless. I felt helpless. Um, my son was in the military, and when I told him that I had to get a cane, he told me, no, Mama, you don't need that. But her quality of life was about to change when she met Turo orthopedic surgeon Dr. Kevin Watson. He explained to Deborah that she needed double knee replacement surgery. I think knee replacement is really exploding across the United States. Um, certainly, we have an aging population now, and as the baby boomers get older, they want to stay more active. Active, and they don't want to deal with the pain that they're having in the knees. Dr. Watson says it's not only high activity levels in aging, but also that more people are overweight, putting stress on the knees. And since Deborah's mother had knee problems, she inherited that risk. For Deborah, most of hers is probably genetic in origin. Um, certainly, we know that if other members of the family have arthritis, that the patient is more likely to get arthritis as well. So Dr. Watson is using new technology to fix Deborah's knees. She had the right knee done in May and the left one with our camera rolling in September. With a custom uh, fit total knee replacement, all the operative decision making uh, is done before you even walk into the operating room. There's no extra pins, there's no extra cuts, there's no extra rods that are used to do the surgery. Here's how it works. Before Deborah ever went into the OR, she had a CT scan of her knees. From that, a 3D model was made. That's when Dr. Watson made his decisions where to make cuts in the bones to fit the metal hardware knee implant. The image is then sent to a company that custom makes these plastic models that guide doctors on where to make the precise cuts in the OR. That not only allows doctors to skip some steps during surgery, making it faster with less time under anesthesia, but there's also less cutting, drilling, and blood loss meaning less trauma to the muscles and tissue, making recovery faster. The knees are also better aligned, and studies in general show that better alignment means the replacement implants last longer. Deborah now carries a medical card, stating why she beeps in airport metal detectors. But at 58, life is good. It's given me so much to look forward to because I had been so depressed over not being able to do the things that I was used to doing. But now it's given me a new outlook. It's wonderful. It, it is the best investment that I made in myself. Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. That little boy's keeping her running. Insurance does cover this new type of knee replacement surgery. Now, some people can have both knees done on the same day, but for people with heart or lung problems, it's best to do one at a time. Well,